Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have demonstrated how to set up and connect to PostgreSQL database for C++ and using library PQs. In this short video, it will demonstrate how to select a date from the PostgreSQL table through C++ programming using library PQs. Here on the Linux, and uh, we have installed the PostgreSQL database, and we have created a database called YHDB. So this is you will just type to PSQL YHDB to get into the table in this database. We have created a table called the player. So we have created a table called the player, and uh, it's uh, based on the previous video we made a demonstrate. We have uh, created a table called this table have ID have a name, have a membership, have a gender, have level, and so we can use a select statement to select this table. So in order to, so we make a select ID, name, membership, gender, level from this player. So in this table, I have four record of four rules. So we have field is one, two, three, four, five field. So in other terminal, let's go to other terminal and uh, we create a C program. So in this program, so first of all, we demonstrated from preview video, we have to set up a connection string, which is we see the database name, which is this time the database name is YHDB. And then we use the PQ connect DB to connect to the database. So if a connection field, we just uh, finish the connection and exit errors. So if we connect it to the database, what we will do we, in this video, we will demonstrate how to query this data from the table. So the document is able to find easily find online. Here's the PDF version. So the, the command execution function, that is the demonstrator for today. So they are, this says, uh, once connection to a database server has been successfully established, the function described here are used to perform SQL query and the command. And the main function is the PQEXEC. So this function is doing to the submit command to the server and waiting for the result. And this command is going to be used as PQEXEC, pass the first parameter is connection, and the second is which command we are going to submit to the server and the return is the PG result it's a pointer of a PG result so let's back to our server so to be queried to the date and the first on the PostgreSQL first of all will be start a transaction block and the command is the begin so the the function the main function we use is the pqexec and this function is the first parameter is the connection which we get from the connection and the second is command command is the begin so return is the pointer of a pg result after we execute this command the function to check the result is the pq result status with this result, we return back from this pxe-size command. So this function can have a few values. This can have a pgres empty query, pgres command OK, and some others. So the, com the value we are going to check is a 
PGRES command, OK. So if this is not PGRES command, OK, it means this command failed. So we just uh, print the error message and exit, close, clear the result set, and finish the connection and exit. After, after we executed the PG command, and uh, this is uh, step one. And uh, step two, we have to, us here, we have to be using PQ clear to clear the result, whatever it is no longer needed you to use. If this result is no longer needed, and we have to be using PQ clear to clear to avoid memory leaking. So every time the execute, if the result set is not using, and we just clear. That's a, and after this begin, the second step is to declare the query cursor. So this command is use PQ EXEC first primary connection and the the command is declare name of cursor I call it my cursor and the cursor for and this is a select statement which is select ID name membership gender level from player so which is we are going to demonstrate is select ID name membership gender level from player so and after declare the cursor and uh, the step three is the fetch query cursor so step three is the query cursor it's still using pq exec and the command is the fetch all in my curse this way we can use in some work class but uh, these times we just uh, select uh, everything and uh, if if, uh, if result after check the result is uh, okay and uh, step first and we are going to retrieve the value so how to re let's go back to the document and uh, this retrieve the query result information. So we send the request, uh, select the statement to server, we uh, get the result, and we have to retrieve the query value. So first we can retrieve is called a PQN tuples. This function is to return the number of rules which query result. And there's another function, PQN fields. And this one returns return the number of a column of each row in the right query result. So in our function, we can get the using query and the field is the total column for each row and the query and the tubeless and the total rows we retrieved from our query. And after that, we can make in print the first. This one is just uh, for making print looks good. And uh, so for the print, first we make a loop from J from zero, J from total columns. And uh, the function, this is uh, this is just a set up the wider what we filled. And uh, the most important f f function name is the PQ, PQF name. So the PQF name, PQF name, return the column name associated with a given number of number. In the short word, this function returns the header name. So we have a total of a column. So we make a loop from the, we make a loop from zero to total columns. And uh, we just print the column header names. And then we make another, just a line. And after we, Print out the header, then the set next. This one is, a, and the next is we are going to do is to print the retrieve the value of the rules. So we say so we have a total rules, 
we get from the PQ and the two place. So we make loop first from i from zero to total rules, and each for each rules, we have make another loop is for j from zero to total columns, and we just print out. We use another function for the PQ gate values. So PQ gate values. PQ gate values. This function, there's a three pair. First is the result set, what we get. Second is the rule number and the column number. And return is the chair pointers. So we just return the chair pointer. So it's the first parameter is the result set for and the col uh, rules and the columns. So we just uh, make a loop for total rules for each row total columns. We just uh, print out uh, each column. We just uh, for the printing out uh, looks good. We set up the field of blank. Set up the column widest, which we defined in the array integer array. And the first column is a four wide, is the second is the fifteen, third is eighteen, eight, twelve, eight just uh, this is just uh, we define the how wide we want to print for each column. And after the finished we just uh, print a, a line, we print the total rules we retrieved and total rules uh, total column we retrieved and the total total rules we retrieved. So that's a value from total column and total rules. We use in this function Q any fields and the Q any two place. Then we clear the result set and uh, after we finished we have to close our curves. So using the PQEXEC command is to close the cursor and, uh, and the making close the re Result set and uh, send the send another command called the uh, end. The end command is to close the transaction. So it's a they, they, everything have to have to be from the beginning to the end. So the first we have to send is uh, begin, and uh, after finished we have to use the end. So this is uh, and then we finish the connection. We return zero. So let's uh, save this program. They make compile this and then make. So now if making good, so let's just run this command. Actually, so the library we are going to use is a minor L P Q. That's what the library P Q. So with this during the compiling. So when you run this, you can see we got a let's uh, make in this is uh, we run from the C plus plus and uh, this we run from the from this our P S Q L. You can see we got a one, two, three, four rules. You receive name Steven there, and uh, exactly what we run from command from the PSQL. <coughs> Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.